So I get a decent amount of questions about IP config uh, in my inbox. And the latest one was from a student who was having a problem connecting to another computer. And the student was using a class A 10 network for all the computers and just had a uh, Microsoft DHCP server handing out all the IP addresses to the clients on his little test network that he was using to uh, learn all this stuff. But one of the computers was not functioning and he couldn't ping it. So when he went to that computer, to the local system, he went in the command prompt and uh, did an IP config slash all and found out that that system was getting the address 192.168.1.101. And so he was asking, you know, what could possibly be the problem and how do I fix it? Uh, with these types of problems, there's a lot of possibilities. Uh, and it depends on a lot of factors and it depends on your network and what you have running. Now, in this case, this person had a Microsoft DHCP server running, which is handing out IP addresses on the class A10 network to all the other computers. And the one computer that was not obtaining that IP address, obviously, was obtaining a different address, 192.168.1.101. So different IP network altogether. And so, you know, my first thought was, okay, well, 192.168.1, that sounds like a Soho router type of DHCP range. And maybe for some reason that computer was picking it up from that router. And that's just one possibility. It could be picking up the IP address from another DHCP server, or it could even be getting it internally. And, uh, you know, sometimes you'll see the APIPA problem also, where the local computer fails to get an IP address from a DHCP server and instead gets a 169.254 uh, IP address. So, but in this case, it was 192.168.1, and that network, you know, that screams Soho routers with DHCP built in. And so what I... You know, sometimes what can happen is the main DHCP server can fail. Uh, it could be temporarily, or if for some reason, perhaps the client didn't have a network connection to that DHCP server for one of many reasons. So usually with this type of thing, my recommendation is, you know, do an IP config slash all, check all the configurations, and, you know, you can probably find out what the problem is. And when, you know, we do that, we'll find out where the computer is getting its IP address from, which in this case, you know, we saw was 192.168.1.100. And that happened to be a Soho router address that was there. So um, the answer for this in this case was to use IP config. And first of all, we needed to get rid of that IP address and get a new IP address from the correct DHCP server. Now, sometimes this solution works, sometimes it doesn't. And what we did was we did an IP config slash release and then an IP config slash renew. So basically we did an IP config slash release. That releases the IP address. And if you were at that point to do an IP config again, you'd basically see nothing. There would be no address for this uh computer as far as the local area connection. I'm not worried about the virtual connections right now. But then you would want to do an IP config slash renew to get an IP address from the proper DHCP server. At that point, if you do, and here we have 10.254.254.130 for this computer, and uh, you know that's one of my media computers, that's the address it should be getting, and that's the network it should be getting it from. You know, not from 192.168 and not from, uh, you know, 169.254 or whatever. So you do that IP config slash release and renew. And more often than not, that's going to fix the problem. And you're going to get your IP address from the correct DHCP server. If not, then, you know, you have to move down your troubleshooting list and say, okay, what else could be the problem? Uh, has the DHCP server failed altogether? Is it not handing out any more addresses? Are there no more leases available? Has the range all been used up or scope? Uh, there's a lot of possibilities there. But in addition to this, um, I would normally recommend flushing the DNS for this local computer that had gotten the wrong IP address because 
there might be some associations between the IP address and naming of the computer and other computers. So, you know, that name resolution could be a little bit messed up. So you'd want to do an IP config uh, slash flush DNS. And it'll tell you it successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. And for good measure, you could do a register DNS. The registration of DNS re resource records has been initiated. The time frame for that could vary. It depends on your network. For this, it should be fairly uh, quick. But basically what we're saying here is in addition to the IP config release and renew, run at least an IP config slash flush DNS. And then if you want an IP config slash register DNS so that you can get back on the network properly and get all that name resolution working properly as well. So you could connect by host name and not just by IP address.